Lolly Francesco Mario Ranzi. Try to say that after a strong drink. Uh, strong drink. Uh, uh, in the uh, uh, another one you've got to try and say as well. In the free psychic readings and spiritual connections group on Facebook. So try to say both of them or both together. Um, I got lost halfway. Um, uh, requesting a, a relationship, uh, uh, love type uh, 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 reading here. Um, got a twin flame, or somebody she thinks is a twin flame, and uh, naturally uh, uh, hasn't seen him for t hasn't seen him for over a month. So what's going on here? We'll shuffle the cards, and as we shuffle these cards, we just ask for the truth on behalf of Lori Francesco Mario Ranzi uh, concerning uh, this love issue. It's a twin flame question here. And we ask for guidance and insight in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. And where the deck splits is where it's thought to be at its most energetic point. So effectively, uh, the top of the deck, the centre of the deck is in, on top, isn't it? Uh, so what we'll do is just place things to the side there, uh, Laurie, and, and then I'm going to deal out three cards. Uh, the first card we deal is in the position of your recent past. Because you asked a question, of course, we can provide an answer in the sense that the meaning of that card will, 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 will be linked to what's been going on in the recent past, won't it? If you see what I mean. The recent past, when's that? Well, I usually say a moon, the, the way the moon does one cycle, a moonth it's called, that's roughly what it is between now and one moonth ago. About three or four weeks or so usually, isn't it? About 20, just under 27 days, 27 point something days. Um. The next card is, I suppose you could say it's about like three days behind, three days ahead. It's sort of nowish, isn't it? That's the present. So we just place that there. So we've got the recent past influence, the present influence, and then the next card, of course, naturally, will be the immediate future influence. This is, of course, a moon between now and, and the next moon, uh, within the next moon period. And, 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 and that... Uh, the, the, the meaning of that card vibrates with that, doesn't it? And, and, and what's going on there? So let's see. Of course, we asked in your in, in, in your name. What words are true? And hopefully, then we will will get something from this. Um, is he your twin flame, or what? 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 What is the crack? Let's pull out the first card. We'll pull out the card here. I suppose we're establishing the situation, aren't we? Because it's like the sort of the beginning, middle, and end of story, isn't it? In the sense of what was going on, what, 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 what was vibrating then, as you would say, between now and then. We'll just flip uh, this card over. Flip it nice and slowly there, not to disturb its energy. And notice here. Um, uh, we've got the energy of the wolf. Uh, that, uh, usually the wolf, of course, symbolises trust, symbolises uh, um, loyalty, doesn't it? Uh, but of course, in this particular case, the wolf, who, who is no doubt your guardian or has been your guardian just recently, your power animal maybe, uh, is just basically saying beware who you trust in the sense that you should have beware or you will beware who you trust. Is it beware or beware of you? You trust. You should have beware who's your to your trust. Uh, you should have been a bit more careful. Um, maybe you trusted somebody too much when they said what they said, or when their actions sort of hinted at what they hinted at. Maybe you. you you, you 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 took it too seriously and you, you you trusted it too much. But then again, of course, it is about trust anyway. But trust is like virginity, isn't it? Once you lose it, you are. Uh, it begins with F and ends with K. It's actually not a word. It's a it's an abbreviation for unlawful carnal knowledge. That's basically what you were, <laughs> what you are. If if trust is with it being like virginity, um. 
it looks as though really this has been a case of, of, of trust of course but naturally uh, when it's been going on for so long a month without contact it can make one wonder can't it as it has no doubt done with you let's pull out the next card to see what's going on now of course you can't define yourself by what you did in the past but you can define yourself by what you're doing now if you were say for example foolish enough to have believed it or something like that I don't know uh, we can all but notice here we got love uh, in the sense of true love and fidelity as if the energy there is, is, is sort of indicating, so it looks as if I might be wrong there to some degree. But nevertheless, is that on his side or your side or both? In, in the sense of, is the true love and fidelity on your side that you are faithful to him and you truly love him? But does he love you? You should have been more who you trust. You should have been a bit more careful who you placed, who you confided in. And now, I am sort of getting here that this is more about your faithfulness towards him than either his toward you or both in, 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 in that sort of uh, um, thing why I don't know I notice there's darkness in the background isn't there as if Cupid there although is there tempting the lovers or there to entice the lovers nevertheless in, in the tarot uh, in, 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 in the tarot, of course, there's this third person standing there. Is that the devil tempting the lovers? Or is it a priest consecrating the affair? I don't know. But certainly this is more faithfulness on your part. I think this is being done with more hope than purpose. Worry. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Let's, nevertheless, uh, pull out the next card. I could still be wrong. Maybe I hope I am. Let's just pull out the... F the third card here that represents the immediate future. If negative, forewarned as forearmed. So in an ironic sense, it can be positive, can't it? But of course, beware of complacency if positive. It's positive-ish. <laughs> I suppose we'll get away with that. You've got the key indicating that locked doors uh, will soon be opened for you in this particular case. Maybe the door to his heart that was locked may be will be opened or of course it's one thing to have the key to a door even it's one thing to uh, have those locked doors opened but of course it's up to you to go through those doors and make that decision to come at yourself and I do sort of sense as though an opportunity there is the key where I may represent the opportunity for this uh, this relationship to develop maybe between now and within the next month period within the next three or four weeks or so, the next 27 point something days, as you would say, uh, or thereabouts. I could just take a look at the uh, the almanac here to see what, um, around about what sort of time, if you were to use the moon phases, of course. Uh, from Of course, around about now is the next time to initiate any magic. Around about now, the 26th of April, would be any time to banish anything, any negativity that's 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 um, that's occurred. Maybe that lack of trust. Maybe either banish that or or banish this relationship completely, and 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 show your faith towards somebody else who may be coming along there as new doors open up. There's two ways of viewing that, isn't there? You you've sort of got a you've got a sort of escape route there, haven't you? Really, in some regard. But of course, with regards to this one, if you want to initiate any magic, you do that on the new moon on the 4th of May at 22.45 UTC. And of course, any time for healing on the first quarter on the 12th of May at 1.12 UTC. Whatever that is where you are, I don't know, you're about five hours behind normally, if you're on the west coast of America here, from the UK. Um, and of course... Uh, the peak of magic comes at uh, 2111 on the 18th of May. And, and, and then, of course, another time for banishing whatever happens on the 26th of May. Uh, so, um, it's roughly from the 26th to the 26th here, isn't it? Uh, so, but I, I do sort of sense a touch of... Um, a, a, a touch of, 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 of darkness going on here uh, concerning this because... Notice there the treasury, uh, 
the, the key and the tragedy surrounded by that darkness as the as the heart of love is nevertheless with even the lovers in the tarot deck there is always that point where where the two lovers stand together but they look in the same direction as if he looks over her shoulder and she looks away as if to say is this really the one I should be with although she may wear a ruby ring indicating that passion or whatever nevertheless at the end of the day is this really the one I should be with although I'm faithful to him now I am standing right next to him nevertheless I face away and is this maybe the energy of the lovers in this this love card here that, that I'm sort of sensing within the darkness and the uncertainty that carries through into the future but nevertheless new doors can be opened maybe that maybe that's the 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 the, um, the break that you will need but of course trust of course is a, has been a, an issue that it, it it would appear as may have been broken but if it has all is not lost but if it hasn't maybe it's an opportunity to start again but for how long next time this is a question that no doubt a shadow has been cast there over, as you would say. And for now, for you, until maybe next time, these cards have spoken. <laughs>